Hi guys, hope you are all fine and safe. Today we are going to discuss about our unit 5 rocket robotics. In our previous unit, we have studied about jet propulsion. First of all, we have to understand what is the major difference between a rocket propulsion and a jet propulsion. The first main similarity is both of them work in work under the same principle that is Newton's third law. But the major difference is in the jet propulsions, the jets get the oxygen to burn the fuel from the air. But the rockets carry their own oxygen which allows them to operate in space because jet engines will be flying inside our atmosphere where oxygen is available but the rocket engines rocket propulsion will be out of our atmosphere that is will be out of our space so it needs to carry its own oxygen it also leads to a major difference this is the major difference and one more thing is jet engines have two openings that is an intake and an exhaust nozzle but rocket engines have only one opening that is an exhaust nozzle alone now this is the classifications of space propulsions they are mainly classified as chemical engines and also electrical engines, electrical engines. and nowadays the advanced topic such as nuclear engine nuclear nuclear power rocket engines solar thermal power rocket engines laser power rocket engines are also in upcoming stages in the chemical chemical rocket engines it is classified into three major types that is solid propellant engines liquid propellant engines and hybrid propellant engines these classifications are based on the type of fuel that is phase of the fuel in which it is used the liquid propellant rocket engines have an extra system that is feeding system it is classified with the liquid propellant engines are classified into four types that is pressure fed engines, pump fed engines, bipropellant engines and also monopropellant engines and the electrical rocket engines are classified into electrothermal, electrostatic and electrodynamic engines this is the basic diagram of a solid propellant rocket engine solid propellant rocket engines are the engines that uses solid propellants that is a mixture of fuel and oxidizer in the solid state since the solid fuel rockets can remain in storage for a longer time without much propellant degradation they are they almost can be launched reliably and so they are frequently used in military applications such as missiles simple rocket motor contains a consists of casing that is metal casing and then a nozzle and also the propellant charges and an igniter in it once the ignition is started a simple solid rocket motor cannot be shut off because it contains all the ingredients necessary for combustion within the chamber itself and the combustion will be ended off once the whole of the fuel is burned more advanced solid rocket motors can not only be throttled but also be extinguished and they can be reignited. that is of the most advanced type of solid propellant rocket engines here in this case the propellant and the oxidizer is mixed well and it is placed in a metal structure with an insulation outside it and the principle is once the ignition is started the fuels burn with higher pressure and a higher thrust and this higher pressure is made to expand inside the nozzle in the nozzle we all know that the pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy and so the exhaust gases kinetic energy that is velocity is increased and it creates a thrust on the earth surface or on the surface on which it impinges and so according to Newton's third law this force creates an opposite thrust which propels a rocket into the space. This is the basic and simple explanation of a solid propellant rocket engines. Now we will be having a discussion about advantages and disadvantages. The main advantage of a solid propellant engine is it is easy to store and handle 
and due to its high propellant density it is of compact size since it is having a compact size and there is no extra equipment is needed it is of lower cost and its application is for space shuttle and many other orbital launches the most and the important disadvantage of it is it cannot be throttled that is it cannot be shut off it cannot be stopped or it, the speed of the rocket or the speed cannot be controlled once it is start, once it has started to burn and also there may be cracks and voids in the fuel because it is very well mixed with the oxidizer and is kept in a solid state the once ignition is started it cannot be controlled which is a major disadvantage disadvantage in this case and now we will be looking at the liquid propellant rocket engines and this is a block diagram of a liquid propellant rocket engine it has a fuel tank and a separate oxidizer tank in a solid propellant rocket engine both the fuel and the oxidizer are mixed but here the fuel tank and the oxidizer tank are kept separately and both are connected to a pump where the pressure energy is increased and both of the oxidizer and the fuel will be let into the combustion chamber through the pump that is with higher pressure and the power for the pump is derived from the turbine which rotates from the exhaust gases itself a part of the exhaust gases is used to run the turbine and so this turbine provides a power for the pump both the pump and now when once this fuel and the oxidizer mixture is injected into the combustion chamber an injector is used to burn the to start the combustion process once this combustion process is started then it it uh, creates a heavy energy and a heavy pressure which gets expanded in the exhaust nozzle the same principle is used here also the the higher amount of pressure energy created is converted into the velocity in the exhaust nozzle and the thrust which is produced in outside the exhaust nozzle is used to propel the rocket in the front direction and now we will be looking into the disadvantages and advantages of this rocket propulsion engines the main advantage of this over and solid propellant engine is they are capable of being throttled and shut down and restarted since they are using only liquid propellants they will be using a valve which can be which controls the flow of fuel and also the oxidizer and liquid fuel rockets have higher specific impulse than solid rockets and the disadvantage is since there is an extra pump an extra turbine and two oxidizer two fuel tanks one for oxidizer and also one for fuel tank fuel it is thermally stressed and the cost becomes more these components also increase the design procedure of the rockets which is the major disadvantage and the next one is we be seeing about hybrid propellant rockets hybrid propellant rockets are a rocket with the rocket motor that uses rocket propellants in two different phases that is one solid and the other one may be either a gas or a liquid the hybrid rocket concept is a very old concept which is almost 75 years back concept only the hybrid rockets are invented such as to avoid the disadvantages of solid rockets and also of the liquid rocket systems it has a theoretically theoretically specific impulses higher than the solid propellant engines but lower than the liquid propellant engines now let's see the working principle of the hybrid rocket propellant engines the hybrid rocket consists of a pressure vessel or pressure vessel that is a tank containing the liquid oxidizer the oxidizer is in the liquid stage and the combustion chamber containing the solid propellant the fuel is in the solid state and a mechanical device separating the two when the thrust is desired a suitable ignition source is introduced in the combustion chamber and the valve is opened once the valve is opened the liquid propellant or the gas flows into the combustion chamber where it is vaporized and it gets reacted with the solid propellant this starts starts the combustion process process and the combustion occurs in a boundary layer adjacent to the surface of the solid propellant generally the liquid propellant will be the oxidizer and the solid propellant will be the fuel because solid oxidizers are extremely dangerous and are lower performing than liquid oxidizers 
once the combustion is started and higher pressure and high velocity higher pressure and higher thermal thermal energy of exhaust gases are formed which are then made to expand in the exhaust nozzle this exhaust nozzle converts the pressure energy that is created into kinetic energy and hence this kinetic energy this kinetic energy propels the rocket in the front direction hope you will understand this to these topics and you will see the remaining topics in our next slide or the next video thank you